iPhone 15 release date, price, and specifications. On September 12, 2023, Apple will unveil the iPhone 15 range at the Wanderlust event. Multiple updates made the two ordinary versions closer to an iPhone 14 Pro, but not quite Pro. Since the iPhone 11 series, there have been two tiers of iPhone, with ordinary and Pro models. The way these levels are divided has evolved over time, but Apple tends to reserve its most recent and pricey features for professionals. Apple offered three different feature sets across the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro Max for the 2023 lineup. Except for its size, the iPhone 15 Plus is nearly identical to the smaller standard model. Design of the iPhone 15 In 2023, the iPhone mini will be obsolete. The 6.1-inch iPhone 15 is joined by the 6.7-inch iPhone 15 Plus, with no feature differences between the two. Because Apple added the dynamic island to the basic models, the notch is no longer an option. The dynamic island is a software element that conceals the sensor housing for Face ID and the selfie camera, while also displaying live activity animations for apps. Cameras on the iPhone 15 The main camera contains a 48MP sensor that has been modified to take 24MP pixel binned images. This big sensor also allows for the first time on regular iPhones a 2x zoom. Photos shot with the 48MP sensor are saved as 24MP HEF files, ensuring high contrast and resolution. Subjects recognized by the camera, such as humans and dogs, will allow depth data to be collected without switching to portrait mode. The ultra-wide camera remains at 12MP and has received no additional features. Macro mode and other professional features are still exclusive to Apple's high-end iPhones. Change to USB-C the USB-C port is perhaps the most notable feature of this product. Apple has finally moved the iPhone away from Lightning, although regular iPhones are still limited to USB 2.0 speeds because there is no m program. Customers can use any cable or peripheral without official certification. Charging speeds haven't changed Thus, the iPhone will continue to fast charge using a USB PD adapter of 20 watts or above. Because USB-C is ubiquitous, users may charge additional gadgets such as the Apple Watch and AirPods directly from the iPhone's battery. This will rapidly deplete the iPhone battery, but it will supply a tiny amount of juice in an emergency. Processor for iPhone 15 these models received the A16 Bionic chip from the iPhone 14 Pro, which enhances performance slightly over the iPhone 14. There's also a thread radio for enhanced HomeKit communication and a second-generation ultra-wide band chipset for more precise finding at a distance. Customers who are concerned about device speeds are unlikely to choose ordinary models such as the iPhone 15 Plus. Modern apps won't feel much different on contemporary Apple chipsets, but specific tasks, particularly those that rely on the neural engine, may improve. New color possibilities, maybe. Rumors of color options for both the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro began to circulate at the end of the rumor season. Overall, both model sets may have more muted colors. The iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus could be available in blue, green, pink, silver and black. These hues appear muted as if the saturation has been reduced from prior generations. The colors on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max are also losing saturation. According to rumors, gold will be replaced by a natural titanium alternative. Space Black 
silver and blue are among the other colors available. Probably the end of the lightning port. After a decade of using the lightning connection, the iPhone May 15 finally be switching to USB-C. This aged port replaced the 30-pin connector and included novelties such as a reversible port and a more watertight housing. Since the USB-C port has grown more common, some users have urged Apple to use it on the iPhone. However, the widespread use of lightning connectors across Apple's product line makes such a transition challenging. The number of iPhone users who have lightning ports in their iPhones, iPads and AirPods vastly outnumbers the number of Mac users who have USB-C ports. If the iPhone 15 switches to USB-C, Apple's PO team may be in yet another lose-lose situation. Customers and authorities will scrutinize it like they did when it was transferred from the 30-pin connector. Gyms and other companies are still using equipment with 30-pin connectors, despite the fact that some locations have not completed the switch from the original iPhone connector. The same is true for a lightning transition. Touch ID is expected to return. When Apple released the iPhone X, Touch ID was replaced by Face ID. The modification was made to allow for all screen displays without the home button taking up valuable real estate. Face ID, according to Apple, is far more secure than Touch ID, with a 1 million to 1 risk of a false positive unlock. However, it wasn't without flaws, as Face ID required a user's eyes, nose and lips to unlock the device. This alleviated the problem of trying to unlock an iPhone with unclean fingers. But it also meant that users couldn't readily unlock their phones when they were concealing their faces for any reason. When the epidemic struck, it caused an unprecedented problem with Face ID, as iPhone owners all across the world donned masks. Users grumbled about the slowed unlocking procedure and asked that Apple reinstate Touch ID as a solution. Instead, Apple provided a workaround for Apple Watch customers. If Face ID detects the user is wearing a mask, it will check to see if the Apple Watch is verified before unlocking the iPhone. Of course, this approach only applied to Apple Watch owners, a considerably smaller number than iPhone owners. All iPhone 15 models will most likely have 48 MP cameras. According to Ming-Shai Kuo's report on camera component orders in July 2023, all iPhone 15 models would have 48 MP wide cameras. That implies that while recording 12 MP photographs, all users will benefit from pixel binning, resulting in a clearer, more detailed image possible Apple 5G modem. Apple's rocky relationship with modems has prompted the corporation to develop its own. When Intel quit the modem market, Apple bought it out from under them. In the meanwhile, Apple has rallied on Qualcomm to supply 5G modems for the iPhone. This restored cooperation may last much longer than expected as Apple is said to have halted the development of in-house Wi-Fi and cellular chips. A 17 Bionic CPU from Apple. At least the Pro models of the iPhone 15 will get a new processor. The A16 Bionic processor utilized in the iPhone 14 Pro will be used in the ordinary models. The A17 Bionic is predicted to go from 5 nanometer to 3 nanometer CPU production technology. This increases the processor's power and efficiency. According to rumors, the A17 will have 6 CPU and 6 GPU cores and will run at 3.70 GHz. This is a step up from the A16 6-core CPU and 5-core G. PU. Users of the standard iPhone will have to make do with the older generation chipset. 
price and release date of the iPhone 15. Predicting the price of a device that will be released in the future isn't easy, but looking through Apple's pricing trends can help. Apple did not change its pricing structure for the iPhone 14, and it may do so again in 2023.